Warning. The video is about to see is just that turn up. I told you that please not watch this video. Also, if you can feel it and probably hear it, there's gonna be wind noises. That's from my parents. Other than that though, enjoy the video. Or else my audience. That should be reversed. Hey guys, special I'm back in back on an event here. I'm just not saying things right. Back on an event today as we're visiting a funkin. Today's we're visiting is the next uh, Friday 13th part four. The final chapter Ultimate Jason Voorhees action figure. Well something along to that. Now I really actually don't got that much to say about like the whole entire preference about this figure. One thing is forgiven. Max Recon is at night. Yeah, I haven't done a night vid in years, bro. Last time I did one was around like last year. <laughs> so it seems kinda weird for me to do these night vids. I mean they're different. Most of the time some of my vids are actually are uh, ending in nights up there. No jabber jabber onto the box. That should be. I don't know like it dude, but here it is. Box is exactly like the poster says Friday right thirteenth, no part four for some other reason, the final chapter. And the inverted Jason mask, you can tell it's because it's inverted due to the fact that the little axe moon is supposed to be on here. Makes no damn sense, but eh, it was supposed to be the final movie, as it should have been. Side profile of the box has big Jason neck of real toys. Same should on the over here on top, right down to the final chapter, H S no via bomb mold. Rolling trucking has it on the bottom. Uh, don't do not throw this thing away. Price tag, licensing, which I still don't know when the heck is that Pots and Effect is supposed to come out. Back to the box, and yeah, night again. <laughs> and on here, there's a little description, which I'm trying to get in the best light possible. Pause it if you want. A picture of the figure, and on the little bottom over here, it does say um, what it comes with. On here, picture Jason. And the figure there, eh. and it's supposed to be raining. Not really that much said, however, it's a bit dusty. And now, jibber jabber onto the figure. You can barely even see him. I have to move that light just a tiny bit more. For some reason, when that light was back there a few seconds ago, I made it felt like I was in the thing. You know, that's the where it's completely like snow. For some reason, I just thought of that. <laughs> Anyways, onto the figure. A lot of it said, let me just go on and bleh. Let me get him to how he should be. Ah, much better. If we're actually going on to him, just move it to the side, the accessories come to the are actually quite amazing, to say the least. Let's get to it. Main thing he has is, of course, his machete, which is absolutely coated in the ketchup. You know, not much to say. And some things look a bit off, because obviously with me, I didn't decide to customize this to make it more different, I suppose. Kitchen knife. Not much to say there. Axe or jigsaw, whatever the hell it's called. A corkscrew. Strange enough, I actually have the corkscrew, not the exact um, replica, just one that looks like it. Exact same actual black coat and everything. <laughs> a hatchet with a really long, or just an axe in general. I guess a hatchet with a really long handle. <laughs> a meat cleaver, which some people would have said in the scene that's supposed to look like that. Was actually a machete, but just really small. But it's actually kind of turned back that it was actually was a cleaver, and for good reason. Because there was no reason why this thing junk would ever be made, other than the fact that kind of look a bit cartoony with that big handle. I, don't know, I have a few meat cleavers in in here, and yet they all have realistic stuff on them, even the handle. Another one's gripping to hold on some of the bad weapons in uh, oh, that's pencil. <laughs> a hockey mask, which looks a little bit different from the one I have, which is the one I can't speak. One that is equipped, another face, and a tombstone. And not really that much to say. Thought it was, was hollow, but eh. Move on to the actual figure itself. A lot of things to go about here. You may say to yourself from a lighting like this. It looks like the official product, aka the official figure. Turns out, no, it's actually not. This is the bootleg version of the figure. And now it's not the reissue version, which has a completely different coat of skin. 
in which this one, the skin is supposed to be like kind of like this, however, it's a little bit lighter. Kind of looks like a little bit of part three, a tiny bit plus with like part five for some reason, which does not look accurate at all. However, the paint jobs on them are a bit better. I will think about getting them pretty soon, but. The thing is, I got this guy knowing for the fact that he wasn't actually a bootleg, and the only reason I was able to at least tell you for the fact that this guy was a tiny bit of a bootleg was, I guess this, and also the fact that it's a bit dark, actually. Yeah, I'm surprised that even a bootleg from back in 2019 was able to fool me, because bootlegs now, well, at least with that character, I guess, they're actually gonna be a bit better, so you at least say, you're gonna watch that comment and actually try to buy these, but I guess, yeah, you're actually gonna be a bit surprised. <laughs> the thing was, I actually tried to customize it so it could be you know, not close to scale as the bootleg. For instance, adding blood stains on the pants, because originally they were always like the darkest shade of red I've ever seen on a picket to date. I mean, you could still kind of see in the covers right there. Let me get a little focus on. A tiny bit, there we go. But not really. And not really that much ever did add on my little sinking weather right here, here, and obviously the face, and a bit of the hockey mask itself. The hockey mask itself, it is pretty accurate. Let me get a little close up. Even tried to add a little bit of silver weathering, however, it didn't look good all general. Let's close up with the face. You could tell this is bullet due to the fact I think the seam is not supposed to be on his bald head. I think his eyes not supposed to be raised. I don't know. Just wizard of thought. Okay. Says that. Here's the other one up close. I can see I caked it in blood. So there's that. And here's the other mask, which appears in the later half of the film. And I actually did try to make this a little bit more 3D, but I didn't. The cut they really want to go the way I wanted, so I just. Kind of put a choppy on it to make it look like it's on his bald face. And really, not that much really on him. There's a tiny bit, but not really that much. And for what people say these junks are exactly the same. Look at these. God damn it. <laughs> In this lighting, it does not look like the, the different. It looks like the Zivini mask for a Kai Swig. Let me just get them in better light. I got a really squeaky chair. You can kind of tell that different, okay? Just from looking at that scene. So for those still wondering, yeah, that, that, and these two are different. <laughs> but one of them are exactly the same, just a bit within one of them looks completely. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Let's get to articulation already. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to put this lighting. Sorry, I'm blinding you. I don't know if I'm supposed to put this lighting in the back of me. <laughs> but I don't know. This is my first time ever using the light, and I'm actually gonna. Try to use a different angle of it. Yeah, I've been falling down. <laughs> eh, looks decent enough. You can at least see now. Yep, over there looks like a pretty bad mess. And you can at least see ten times better now. Looks a tad bit shady. Anyways, so you could do here. Is that a very very simple as other uh, figures is? Up, down, left, right, the inch sixty, and also I add blood as you okay? Yeah. Arms could go all the way around, uh, up there. Elbows could go right here. You can also swivel hands. Get go there, there, right there. But the other one, there is a little bit of an adam, and he could do the splits. I don't want to do the fact this whole entire little crotch right here. Okay, kick up, take back, back, which also does this. Knee joint, also do this. And feet could go up, down, one of the railing could go the way around, and basically. That's my best for the figure. Again, he's pretty much one of them simpler ones, but again, he was based off of. I was thinking the. which am I called? The ones before them? You know the ones. I know, I was thinking people who watch my content now are realizing, like, who the hell is he talking about? But basically, there were figures made before the Ultimate. Let me just get on this mask on, because uh, I thought I'm about to get at least a lawsuit right here. Well, uh, got on the mask is a bit tough, but if you got on there, good to go. But the NECA, before we released in the alternates at all, they used to release singles, which came, contained the figure in normal and soaked up blood variants. 
No intention of why probably just need to make more profits. But they were alright. Some of them were a bit mad. Probably especially with them eye holes, which you can barely see, see over here. And they did it with at least... I mean, they did it with the soaked up variants. I mean, they called them clean and just bloodier variants, as some people call them. I think even that kind of themselves. And they were only used for the Friday Dancing figures. I never really saw any for the number of Street figures. Correct me if I'm wrong. But... Yeah, and around the, around late, I mean, around the, starting to the, to the, I can't speak for Christ's sake, don't even have a script on me, <laughs> I'm just doing this without one, I'm just coming up things with my head. And from what I'm guessing, the release dates on these figures were, because I know the fact that, from what I was able to gather, the part, five Dream Sequence, two, I mean part two, and I believe the one fourth scale figure released in 2018, FAJN Part 5 Roy were released in 2019, and I guess also the reissued Part 4 Mask, the reissued Part 3 and 5 Mask released last year, and if it's still happening, I don't know if NECA is still doing it, but the Part 7 figure is coming out this year. I don't know, we're gonna have to wait until at least, what, a decade later? <laughs> He's gonna, we're gonna be thinking, there's gonna be at least a fan one out there that's 10 times better than thinking the official product, but, see, so yeah, the one thing was the ultimate figures for both the F8, I mean not F8, the Friday the team figures for one, I mean not one, I guess two, three, and four, were that they were combined twos. Which is why if you get the part three figure, you notice the fact that if you had the stock hit on, you could have some wheels of blood on him. And if you put on the one with the axe wound, it looks better. Which could go both ways. Also, for some reason, the neck was also a bit tan, but this one you can't see the fact he's a bit darker, as you can kind of tell right here. So, there, yeah, just for those reminders on why some of these figures look a bit weird and also why their posability aren't really that snuffed compared to now. Which is weird, because I remember we got so sinking, spoiled for fact, we got double jointed elbows. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Also, my toes a bit set up different, okay? So, really, there's that history for you. Let's get to some poses now. So I can shut up. <laughs> So here's with the axe, it's a little bit if the fact that God's had weapons on there before and also plastic is a bit ift. And also this is not even using sinking the bigger hand. Uh, no wait, that's using the bigger hand. <laughs> so yeah, that's using the bigger hand. That's when you realize there's gonna be a bit myth. I'm gonna just do this all together. <laughs> Also then they can notice that this guy got Billy hand. You know, accessories? When the part 5 Dream Singles came out, I had an accessory that had the stinking Star Trek hand the sign for no reason. They Nike even said out loud to put it on there, however, it was a bit colored differently. I mean, sure. But here is with the actually the correct hand now, and it looks 10 times better. And running him like this, he actually looks pretty scary to say the least. Moving on. So here he is with the meat cleaver. And to my knowledge, ben, I think the video game from 2017 had a weapon like this, however, it was a, like a handle like this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but for some reason that happened. And we've only been able to at least do it with like 3D printers. And I don't even have a 3D printer around here. So, neat. And how that was even one of the covers we're actually using from the Screen Factory 13, or not 13, 12 movie set. Which goes for, I don't even want to explain for a plush like that type of price. So there he is with the machete. You can barely tell through the fact that it's so dark. There, okay, that's better. You can't tell for like he has a different mask on. Right there. So there's that. And move on to the final one, besides the others. And here he is with the final pose. I know it's exactly from, you know, the start, but it's a bit different. His arms are a bit out, okay? And really, that is it. So I'll get my verdict on the guy, I mean, the figure itself. Good figure, good accessories, great poses, I mean, besides the fact he's very basic in general. And he has a lot of work room to do with. And I can't tell you about the normal complaint on, oh, he has basic joints, he's very bad. No, he isn't, he's actually still good, even if he is blue -like. I say I honestly give him a 7.5 to the fact that it's final chapter. Chop the dog, that junk would 
meant to be a dream, even a correct data. The main thing is, where could you find them? There were a lot of options, though. A lot to begin with. Could have find them at Toys R Us, which is now extinct. Obviously, websites like Big Bad Toys Store, Amazon, eBay, of course, Wish, you could probably get that. And since they restocked them, you can find them at Target and Walmart, I remember seeing a few times. And really, that's about it. So guys, thank you for the video. Like, share, comment, notifications on the more videos, and subscribe now to see if I'm on the... See if I'm on? Click all plus, and if not, I have no actual no I don't know what could be a problem. Other than the fact that these things could probably break, you know, out of pity, not really that much. And I would try to compare this guy between the uh, re-release that happened, I think, either this or last year. Oh, yesterday, yeah. <laughs> or even the one fourth scale, but, dude, he, that one fourth scale is always, like, fun Nagar Fraggers. Including with one from release, like, a quarter, so, like, one six scale. Would I pay for release one that goes up to here? Maybe, but not really, though. For my Instagram, I'll see you guys in the next video. And also, forgot to mention, happy Friday the 13th. This video was really supposed to be an animatic, but if also, it was normal, natural, just be a Friday the 13th video. And also, again and again, this was supposed to be a plush special. I originally was thinking about actually doing all 12 of the movies on Friday the 13th. And all 12, like, every Friday the 13th, there was gonna be a Friday the 13th movie. Plush form. I was not that how the hell I was gonna be able to do that, because then in fact I had to get Baghead, had to use it in water. Yeah, it wasn't really gonna go well. I think I might just do random junk on Friday teens, you know, unexpected releases for Christ's sake. And that'll probably be the only thing you ever get on me for that. So, anyways, though, bye.